Have you ever wondered about the weirdest moons in our solar system? The cosmos is a diverse universe filled with celestial bodies that defy our understanding and challenge our perception of what's possible. Among these are the moons of our solar system, each with its own set of unique and sometimes bizarre characteristics. Today, we're embarking on a journey to uncover the peculiarities of some of these moons. This voyage won't be confined to our Earth's moon, which, while captivating, is just the tip of the cosmic iceberg. We'll be venturing further to the intriguing moons of Saturn and Jupiter, each telling a different tale of cosmic wonder. From ice eruptions to surface craters that resemble a battlefield from a Star Wars movie, these moons have a lot to offer. We're about to delve into the captivating worlds of Enceladus and Callisto. So buckle up, space enthusiasts. Let's dive into the fascinating world of Enceladus and Callisto. Meet Enceladus, a small inner satellite of Saturn, a moon that erupts water ice into space. This tiny celestial body, with a diameter of just 504 kilometers, has captured the attention of scientists and space enthusiasts alike, thanks to the discovery of massive plumes of water ice that spew out from fissures in its southern hemisphere. This intriguing spectacle was first observed by NASA's Cassini probe, which arrived at Saturn in 2004. It was a remarkable find, as it pointed to the presence of liquid water lurking just beneath the moon's thin, icy crust. Astronomers had been suspicious of Enceladus's strange activity long before Cassini's arrival. Earlier images revealed an unusually bright surface and craters that appeared to be blanketed in snow. But the discovery of the ice plumes, initially made when Cassini daringly flew straight through one, was a spectacular confirmation that Enceladus is indeed an active world. With its rock and ice composition, Enceladus should have frozen solid billions of years ago, like many of its neighbors in the Saturnian system. However, tidal forces generated by a gravitational tug of war between Saturn and a larger moon, Dione, keep Enceladus's interior warm and active. This unexpected warmth and the presence of water make Enceladus a prime target in the quest for life elsewhere in the solar system, but the surprises don't stop there. A significant amount of the water ice ejected from Enceladus escapes the moon's weak gravitational pull and enters orbit around Saturn. Over time, this accumulated ice forms the donut-shaped E-ring, the outermost and sparsest of Saturn's major rings. This moon's icy eruptions not only contribute to the beauty of Saturn's rings but also hint at the possibility of an environment suitable for life. Enceladus, with its icy eruptions and potential for life, is truly one of the weirdest moons in our solar system. Next on our list is Callisto a moon that's more cratered than any other object in the solar system. This moon of Jupiter is the third largest in our solar system, only marginally smaller than Mercury. But what truly sets Callisto apart is its surface, a veritable battlefield of craters that has earned it the title of the most heavily cratered object in the solar system. You see, Callisto is a moon that's been through a lot, quite literally. This celestial body is no stranger to the wrath of comets thanks to the gravitational influence of its parent planet, Jupiter. The giant planet's gravity is a powerful force, disrupting the orbits of passing comets and often pulling them towards a fatal encounter. This was most dramatically demonstrated in the spectacular impact of Comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 in 1994. While Jupiter's larger moons are in the direct line of fire and absorb more than their fair share of impacts, they have experienced geological processes that have wiped away the majority of their ancient craters. Not so with Callisto. Its surface, largely untouched by these forces, has remained essentially unchanged for more than 4.5 billion years. This has resulted in a dense, overlapping landscape of craters that serves as a timeless testament to the moon's tumultuous past. Imagine a world where every inch of the land tells a story of a celestial collision, where the scars of billions of years are laid bare for all to see. That's Callisto for you a moon that wears its history on its sleeve, or rather, on its surface. While its cratered surface might not make for the most hospitable of environments, it certainly makes Callisto one of the most fascinating places in our solar system. This moon is a living museum, its surface a canvas painted by countless comets over billions of years. With a surface that's a record of more than 4.5 billion years of impacts, Callisto certainly earns its place among the weirdest moons. As we've seen, our solar system is home to some truly weird and wonderful moons. Enceladus, with its icy plumes and warm interior, is an active world that defies expectations. Thanks to gravitational tugs from Saturn and its larger moon, Dione, 
This small moon remains a hotbed of activity and a prime target in the hunt for extraterrestrial life. Then there's Callisto, Jupiter's outermost Galilean moon and the most heavily cratered object in the solar system. Despite the frequent bombardment of comets, Callisto's surface has remained virtually unchanged for over four and a half billion years. But remember, these are just two of the countless fascinating moons that orbit our planets. Each one, with its unique characteristics and mysteries, contributes to the rich tapestry of our solar system. The more we learn about these moons, the more we realize just how diverse and fascinating our solar system really is. Until next time, keep looking up.